George Orwell was an English novelist, essayist, journalist, and critic. He is best known for his novels Animal Farm and 1984. Both Animal Farm and 1984 are literary mastiar pieces. Born in India to a British civil servant, George Orwell's birth name was Eric Arthur Blair, George Orwell was his pen name. A year after his birth, his mother took him to England. Orwell studied at Eton College, an independent boarding school for boys. Since his family did not have the financial means to support his university education, he joined the Indian Imperial Police. He served in Burma for five years and then resigned and returned to England in order to pursue his passion for writing. He adopted the pen name George Orwell when he took to writing, he did so because he did not want to embarrass his family. Initially, he struggled to make ends meet with his writing career. His writing career came into prominence with his 1945 novel Animal Farm. It was an anti-Soviet satire with two pigs as its main protagonists. The pigs ostensibly represented Joseph Stalin and Leon Trotsky. His next Mastiar Pais 1984 explored how a totalitarian regime persecutes individualism. Orwell is still revered today and features in the list of the greatest writers of all time. Childhood v. Early Life George Orwell was born Eric Arthur Blair on June 25, 1903, in Motihari, Bihar, British India, to Richard Walmsley Blair and Ida Mabel Blair. His father was a British civil servant. Orwell had two sisters, Marjorie and Avril. Marjorie was five years elder to him and Avril was five years younger. When Orwell was one year old, his mother moved to England along with Marjorie and Orwell and settled at Henley on Thames in Oxfordshire. Orwell was bitten by the writing bug early in his life. He composed his first poem around the age of four. He also had a poem published in the local newspaper at the age of 11. He received his early education from a convent school in Henley-on-Thames. In 1911, he was sent to a boarding school named St. Cyprian's in the coastal town of Eastbourne where he spent his next five years. He won a scholarship and went to Eton College for further studies. Orwell's family did not have the means to support his university education. Therefore, he joined the Indian Imperial Police after graduating from Eton. Career in 1922, Orwell joined the India Imperial Police and was posted to Burma. He served there for five years. He then resigned and returned to England in order to pursue his passion. His early career as a writer was hard as he had to struggle to even make both ends meet. He took up several odd jobs, including that of a dishwasher, in order to eke out a living. Orwell's first major work was Down and Out in Paris and London, 1933. It detailed his struggles when he was TLing to establish himself as a writer. In 1934, he came up with his second novel Burmese Experiences. At the time, Burma was a colony of British Empire and the book explored his experiences during his stint in Burma. It also exposed the dark side of British colonialism. In December 1936, he traveled to Spain and joined a guerrilla group, fighting against General Francisco Franco in the Spanish Civil War. Orwell was badly injured in the Spanish Civil War. He was shot in his throat and arm. He barely managed to return alive. He and his wife were indicted on treason charges in Spain, but they had left the county L by then. His experience during the Spanish Civil War, where the communists brutally suppressed revolutionary socialist dissenters, turned him into a lifelong anti-Stalinist. After returning from Spain, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis in 1938. He spent several months recuperating at the Preston Hall Sanatorium. During this period, Orwell took up several writing assignments in order to support himself. He became an essayist, journalist, and literary critic. When the World War II started, he was rejected for military service due to Heath issues. Between 1941 and 1943, he worked as a propagandist at British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. In 1943, he left his job at BBC to become a literary editor for Tribune, a weekly left-wing magazine. His writing career came into prominence in 1945 with the publication of his novel Animal Farm. The novel is set in a farmyard and features two pigs representing Joseph Stalin and Leon Trotsky as its main protagonists. 
It's based on Stalin's betrayal of the Russian Revolution. The novel was widely appreciated and it also brought in some much-needed financial gain into Orwell's life. Animal Farm was followed by another Mastiar Pais titled 1984. Published in 1949, it's a literary political fiction and dystopian science fiction novel. It gives readers a glimpse into the fate of people should the government control every aspect of an individual's life. Orwell did not live long to enjoy the fruits of his success. He succumbed to his deteriorating health shortly after the publication of 1984. Major Works Orwell is known for his two Mastiar Paises, Animal Farm and 1984. The novels are considered two of the most famous novels of the 20th century. His other important works include his non-fiction books, The Road to Wigan Pier, 1937, which gives an account of his experience in the north of England, and Homage to Catalonia, 1938, a memoir of his experience in the Spanish Civil War. Awards v. Achievements In 2008, he was ranked second in the Times list of the 50 greatest British writers since 1945. Personal Life v. Legacy Orwell married Eileen O'Shaughnessy in 1936. They had an open marriage and Orwell had a number of affairs with other women during his marriage to Eileen. The couple adopted a son named Richard Horatio Blair in 1944. Eileen died in 1945. He married Sonia Brownell, editor at Horizon Literary Magazine, on October 13, 1949, three months before his death. Orwell died of tuberculosis on January 21, 1950, at the age of 46. On November 7, 2017, a statue of George Orwell, which was sculpted by Martin Jennings, was unveiled outside Broadcasting House, the headquarters of BBC.